I was gonna say off YouTube and then I'm just like, like the truth is you guys actually like the, at night, the routine of just like talking to you guys, like unwinding and talking to you guys. Um, just the, like the love and support I get from you guys, I guess is kind of addictive and I'm used to it now when I go through things in my life. So I just wanted to come on here. I just, I, I want, was gonna be with my mom tonight, but like, I apologize if I don't know, I might cry on and off, like, I apologize for that. Thank you, Tess. So, um, I'm just, I guess I'm just looking for a bit, like, I know there might be, like, hateful people, but whatever. I'm just maybe looking for comfort from you guys, honestly. I don't want to be around actual people. Like, Pizza's here with me. I want to be in my home, like, my safe space with my cats. Um, and just, like, unwind and, you know, coconut. I don't feel so alone when I'm talking to you guys. It's so weird. Yeah, so my mom, my grandmother did pass away. Um, not long after I got there, actually. I'm just taking it a lot harder than I even thought. Like, it's just so, so painful. Like, I was like, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Like, I feel like I have a literal broken heart. So yeah, I got there like at, thanks Tammy, Danny, I got there like four, so I think like four maybe or something like that. No, it was like six, sorry. And I could tell when I saw her right away, like she had declined so bad just from yes, last night. She was no longer like, she, her eyes were closed. Like she wasn't opening them. I was like, grandma, no response. And her breathing, she had like the apnea where it's like, she would take a breath like, and then like 10 seconds would go and then she would take another breath. Um, and it was like that for the whole night. And then around 8.30, um, I grabbed her hand and I said, um, I rub, rubbed her arm and I said, grandma, I said, I know you're tired, you can go if you want because the night before she said, I'm sorry, Chantel, to put you through this. And I said, oh my God because she looked at me and said like, she couldn't really open her eyes and she like was frowning. I could tell she was sad. She was trying to tell me and then she tried with her, like she, she really tried to like muster words. And she said to me, she's like, I know you're crying. Uh, anyway, it's just, oh my God. Um, and then so I said to grandma, you can go. It's Chantel and I love you. And um, I swear like, cause she, her mouth had been open the whole time breathing. You know how you get, how they get before death. That's the only time of the night after I said that she closed her mouth like and opened it like she wanted to say something. And then literally we watched her take her last breath, like literally that moment. I swear to God. And I swear to God, I don't know if I'm like delirious, but I was laying on the couch with Pete's here. And then um, before like my grandmother passed, I said, please come back, please come back and tell me if you're okay. So BBJ walked on me and I swear to God, I got a whiff of how she smelt in the hospital. Like, I don't know, this sounds so weird, but death has a smell. Like, death smell, it has like, it's like a sweet smell. I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a sweet ammonia smell. And when they're very near the end, because the toxins are building up in their blood, because they're not emitting the CO2 from their, they're not breathing because of the ap apnea, it's building up. And I got a whiff of that when BBJ walked on me, and my grandmother always loved BBJ. <laughs> And I just, like, I got chills right now. Like, I just, I just know. I don't know. I just know she's somewhere. And I'm just going to tell myself that anyways. I don't want you guys to think I'm on here crying for super chats. I'm not. I'm seriously not even thinking about that. I seriously just get comfort from coming on here and talking to you guys. Like, I'm already feeling a bit better just, like, talking about it. Like, letting it out, you know? And it's easier to talk to you guys than it is to real people in my life. It's so weird. Today, I guess I understand. But most days is not weird at all. You want, you only want people to agree with you and tell you what you want to hear. People in your life, and especially family, and hopefully are going to tell you what you need to hear. Anyone else heartbroken tonight? <laughs> I did kiss her. Yeah. I grabbed her head. <laughs> and I like grabbed it and I kissed her. <laughs> Don't let it make me spiral. No. It makes me want to do the opposite. Like, in her honor, <laughs> you know. It makes me want to do the opposite. My grandma has just myself and my sister, her grandkids. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, but she wasn't, she's not close to my, like, she's, I don't want to say not close to my sister, but not, not really close to my sister. <laughs> um, I'm extremely close to my grandmother. Or like kindred spirits, you know. So, uh, Liliana, I did have some edibles. 
Oh. Is that what you mean by numb them? Yeah, if I, did, if I didn't numb them, it would be so painful. I was like, I need to go home and numb the pain with beezing, uh, edibles, and pizza. So I ordered a pizza. I got some kind of Mediterranean pizza. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Do you want some? Thanks. Uh, Fun fact, Boston pizza, where this is from, was my grandmother's favorite pizza place. So you're just honoring her memory. <laughs> right. <laughs> Liliana, actually, I'm going to be starting on Sunday. <laughs> the new schedule. Pearly Steel. Pearly Steel is a beezer. <laughs> My God, Carly. Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, beez. Okay, I have a question. Do you think I'll make any money on OnlyFans if I show my vagina? What? Don't give me the side eye. Shit, do you think my grandmother can hear what I do now? I show everything and do everything. But I know a lot of people who just do lingerie and make a lot of money. Yeah, but I don't know, like... What do you mean do everything? Do you mean like... Is there like a, like, blowjobs? Like, like what are you doing? Like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just curious. Some people do that. <laughs> Aren't you in mourning? Yes, I am in mourning. <laughs> You're gonna have to start living to make your grams proud now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Believe me. I never felt grief like I've felt tonight. But you actually feel like your heart is like broken, like it hurts. Your heart probably does hurt. But it's most likely because uh, it's enlarged and it's tired of running your whole body. Everybody grieves in more than like their own in their own way, you know. I'm just acting natural. I'm not gonna fake cry when I don't feel like crying. Sometimes I even wonder why. I'm like, why am I not crying right now? Because <clears throat> maybe it's the time I feel like laughing. You know, life is up and down. I would believe that. If it wasn't for the fact that she didn't behave like this when her and Nader had fights or he left her or they had some kind of, you know, fall away. She was miserable and the man wasn't even dead. So as much as I want to believe this, and trust me, I do, because I feel really bad not believing someone uh, that is going through grief. Um, but as much as I want to believe this, I kind of don't. Oh my goodness. It's too bad you don't want to try this pizza. Because it's so good. Yeah, poor you being left to eat it all by yourself. Lily Cham, why is looking for human compassion from others always seen in such a negative way as insidious, as some having some ulterior motive why? Why be so negative? <laughs> Do you guys want to play a video game later? Kristen, in Chinese culture, you leave a plate of food for those that just passed. If you feel her, leave her some food and water. <laughs> I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Maybe that's why I ordered Boston pizza. That's like her favorite pizza. And she loves Mediterranean pizza. Don't you, Grams? That's how I talk to my Grams. Every time I call my grandmother, <coughs> hello. Hi, Rams. <laughs> oh, hi, dear. <laughs> I'm just watching my soap. Can you hold on a minute? I'll pause it. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, two hours later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes she is <laughs> fumbling with the phone. And then, uh... <laughs> Uh, did you go to your appointments this week, dear? <laughs> and I'm like, shit, fuck. Do I lie and say I went, or do I tell the truth? I always tell the truth, and then I... I thought, uh, you know what, Accountable Beauty? I was going to take a break because I thought that it's what I would need. But it's actually the opposite, I think, is what I need. I saw your answer, but uh, Saul, how am I not valuing my members by blocking 
the ones who like they're not valuing me first like they're not they're they're treating me like shit but you don't have a problem with that like you think i'm just like blocking them for no reason like oh i hate my members i don't value my members i'm gonna block them for no reason no there's always a fucking reason so <laughs> like do you not understand that do 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 does not compute sorry <laughs> i mean like anyway so i'm gonna leave my grams <laughs> maybe there won't be any pizza left sorry grams <laughs> i'm just kidding she would be laughing at that I'm gonna leave her these slices here. Four slices. Oh no. She would be upset if I left her too much. <laughs> she would. <laughs> we need we need to like to understand my mentality of what I share on my channel and when. I think we have to like move away from the mentality that people see a uh, YouTube channel as a place that should not be an outlet, uh, such as like a diary or somewhere to just like open up freely or like, you know what I mean? And because they think it's like detrimental to the mental health. But for some people, I think the reverse is true because for me, I find it like cathartic in a way to like release what I want to say. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know if like that's the right word for it, but just like this like purging of all this stuff. Lily Cham, yes, I do get attention and money as well. Those are also perks of being a YouTuber. Absolutely, you're right. But, <clears throat> thank you, Black Lady. I'm not going to let that be enough motive to um, compromise my morals. Sometimes I cross the line, but it's not, it's rare. It's not like, excuse me compared to some people well i can't say compared to some people because we're all different but don't you want to comfort your brother you don't know our dynamic okay like we were together pretty much just the two of us my sister too but mostly just my mom and i together like intimately with my grandmother and we bonded and we spent a lot of time together and i just want to grieve by myself i don't see you guys as real people i don't want to be around real people right now i don't want to break down in front of my mother I'm very uncomfortable doing that. I don't know why I told her that. I said, she's like, as if you're my daughter. I said, well, I just, I don't mind breaking down <sighs> in front of Pete. No, I don't like breaking down. I don't like breaking down in front of anybody. I don't even really like breaking down in front of you guys, actually. I really don't. I don't like crying on camera. I hate it. I do hate it. I don't do it very often. <clears throat> By the way, you want to help me with my time warps? Okay. Well, that would earn your rent. Half of the rent. <laughs> it's true. I don't know, help me creatively with them. Like, be uh, an actor in them, or, you know how you were the waiter, or, um, uh, you know, if I need you to stir a sauce or something, I don't know. <laughs> you can, no, because you're smart, you probably know, you can pick, like, historical periods that you know about. Yeah. Don't you know a lot about history? You were reading a lot of Will Durant books. Because I'm literally paying you. Yeah. Like, that's some part of her income, you know? Hey, y'all, is it ex-partners as employees a trend or something i did not reschedule my doctor's appointment for tomorrow i didn't even re i didn't even re reschedule my doctor's appointment for accountable baby actually i will do that will i do that tomorrow i don't know my aunt is coming um near end of september and <clears throat> to stay here for a while i think to maybe move back here we're gonna be spending a lot of time together so she wants to be, she said she wants to replace grandmother here. Um, as in like doing, going to do things that my grams and I used to do, like going to Perkins or chapters and stuff like that. I think that would be really comforting in a way. It would make me smile. I want to go to chapter. Yeah, that would be, that would be comforting, I think, actually, <laughs> to go there. No, nobody stole the wallet. I think I dropped it, uh, or left it. I think I dropped it on the ground under a booth at Red Lobster, because we had dinner. What? I swear, I, thought, I swear that's what I thought happened. <laughs> Whatever. You guys are so fucking nosy. You know that? Do you know how nosy these people are? Can we do a cook with me? Oh, Lambo, oh my God. You guys, wait till you see my schedule. I worked hard on it. 
I worked really hard on it. I worked really hard on it. I did a lot of it. I did well. A chunk of it I finished at the hospital. Um, there were long periods of times, like hours, where I would just be like laying there, holding her hand, and like with one hand, just like making the schedule on my thing. Well, I hope it works out. <laughs> I hope I can keep up with it because it's pretty busy. Annie's charity money, Lily Cham, is coming right up. It will be paid out September 23rd. Yes. I think the 23rd. Well, okay, so, so the way YouTube money works is YouTubers get paid on the 21st of every month. So that's when you get, like, super chats. It's lumped into that, like, income. So that's when those super chats would be in there. So... And then it takes, like, I don't know, however long to get to your bank account. Like, a few days. For Matthew? What? You think... Oh, you think this thing on my lip is a burn? It's not a burn. A burn from what? This thing? Like, even if I did smoke some kind of, like, pipe, I would smoke it here. Not... Woo, <laughs> boom. So... Like, I don't get what, I don't understand. I feel like I ha I feel like we have to move away, like, I want to move away from Ottawa eventually. I can't live here. Every time I go to a mall, or chapters, or something, I'm just gonna, or drive down near where she lived. It's just gonna remind me of it. I understand being sad, but... In my logic, it doesn't seem oh. effective to just move away or oh. move someplace else when someone close to you dies. Like, you'd be moving all the time, and moving is not cheap. I'm going to leave this box open for Grams. Grams, this is Mediterranean pizza like you like, with the feta cheese and black olives and pesto. Basil. And it's from Boston Pizza. And there's bottles of water laying around on the counter. So, feel free to help yourself. It smells like Tide. <clears throat> My fupa smells like Tide. So, I had an emergency situation today. I had to pull over and use the washroom in the bush. I had to. I really honestly... You want to. No. Excuse me. I had to. Thanks, guys. I don't think anyone's going to like me after tonight. I don't know why anyone likes it to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Got a whiffy around fart there. <laughs> Your Mediterranean pizza fart. family so whenever we're together I like to do a silent but deadly or also known as aka SBD I like to do a silent fart release the, the noxious gases and then just wait for the reaction but I start laughing first so they're talking looking at me <laughs> and they're just talking normal the minute I can start smelling it I know that their face is gonna change so it makes me start laughing <laughs> so I start laughing like that and then they all go like this. No, they see my face and then they look all paranoid like, oh no. <laughs> What's going on? Why is she laughing? And then they have this like moment of like awareness of the situation and they're like. <laughs> and then it hits. <laughs> and they're like. Ah! And it makes me laugh and I gross them out. Because I'm immature. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for really, I still. My eyes are. I know I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to sleep. 
So thanks for tuning in and keeping me a bit of company. It did help a bit, actually. And, um, I'll see you guys later, okay? Thanks, Lucy. Bye, everybody. Bye.